Okay, so let's look at the coroutine. Basically what this is, is just a function that's gonna allow you to put in a pause. Uh, so here we have a normal function and we're gonna call it like this. So this function is just gonna have three different messages and three different lines of code and each of those are gonna run instantly. Our coroutine is a little bit different. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is call it as an I enumerator and then we're just gonna write the function. So inside here, you can have your delays uh, in between your code. So those can be a whole number or it can be a decimal, but it does have to be a float. So make sure you put the F at the end. So to start that coroutine, we're just gonna call it here and it's gonna do the same thing. So let's just take a look at that inside the game. So the first function we call is just gonna do it all at once. You're gonna get three messages right off the bat because that's the computer doing it as fast as it can. The second one is gonna wait six seconds and then it's gonna start. There you go. And then after each message, it's gonna put in a little pause based on the numbers I set. So let's look at some other ways of starting that coroutine. The first way that I showed there, uh, it was just calling it like a function. So you're just writing the function, and then you're putting in those pauses, and you're just gonna write start coroutine, and then inside the brackets, you're gonna put that function. And this works good enough. You can also stop the coroutine just like that. Again, you're putting the function inside there, and you can stop all coroutines. But let's say you wanted to have two of the same one. Uh, it's kind of hard to start and stop specific ones. So what we're going to do for that is just set it to a variable. So here I've actually put the variable. Uh, it starts with the lowercase and the function starts with the capital. So they are a little bit different. So in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is set the variable equal to the function. So now it knows that whenever you start this variable, we're referring to this particular coroutine function. And then the second thing we're going to do is just start that variable. And now you can stop that particular variable whenever you want. So if you had two separate ones, you could pick and choose which one you want to start and stop. And another thing you're going to often do is loop a coroutine. So all you're going to do here is just make a while loop. Um, here I've just added a boolean and set it to true. So as long as this is true, it's gonna go through, but it's gonna wait. So it's gonna wait, it's gonna do something, and so on until it reaches the end of this while loop. And then it's gonna start over again. And each time it runs through, it's gonna do this wait function. So that's just a good way of doing like timers and kind of automated stuff uh, that keeps repeating the same process, but also needs delays. And that's about it.